You, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team game. Today we have the fully upgraded Mutt Master 95 overall Pat Tillman on the team. And we will be trying to activate Pat Tillman's X Factor ability of selfless today. Pat Tillman is the only player in Madden 20, whether it's Ultimate Team, or Rags, or Superstar KO, whatever mode you like, he's the only player that has this selfless X-Factor ability, so it's very unique, and on top of that, this 95 Tillman is an absolute beast on the field. As you guys saw in the description earlier in the video, selfless actually does nothing for Pat Tillman. What it does is it puts on-field teammates in the zone, so it'll activate the X-Factor abilities of our other two superstar players when Pat Tillman is activated. So for us, that is Calvin Johnson, free safety, and Lawrence Taylor. Third down and 12, Steve Young, the quarterback on the opposing squad, and he's thrown in the area of Calvin Johnson, which is not smart. So that'll be incomplete for sure. That'll bring out Johnson and the punting unit, and it brings out our offense, which we're not too interested in today. So part of what makes Pat Tillman an absolute beast in this game, and why he might be the most dominant defensive player in Madden Ultimate Team right now, maybe besides like any of the top pass rushers, in the game like Lawrence Taylor or uh, Khalil Mack or Vaughn Miller as Lamar Jackson hit as he throws and nearly throws a dime but Gilmore with the amazing play it was like that play he made in the AFC championship game against the Jaguars where he jumped over the receiver you guys remember that play to secure the victory third down and six that's gonna be caught by Odell but the point I was trying to make earlier is that Pat Tillman has the enforcer superstar ability and it just causes him to get some massive big hits and as run heavy as Madden 20 is right now you really want to have that enforcer superstar ability to knock out those top running backs when they're trying to arm bar you you counter by sending pat tillman at them and you would think pat tillman would be able to stop odell beckham jr in the open field but the trick to using pat tillman is not using him the way my opponent did getting absolutely swerved in the open field by odell this is how you use pat tillman he absolutely blasts the living daylights out of Dalvin Cook and there goes Odell Beckham Jr. He's got his second touchdown. So as you guys notice right there, right before I was about to make the tackle on Dalvin Cook, I clicked off. I decided to let the CPU hit stick and that is the best way to use Pat Tillman. You see, I'm doing it once again. I'm going to do it pretty much every single play I'm using Pat Tillman because when you click off, the CPU gets an automatic hit stick animation and a some crazy hit stick animations, ones that, you know, you might not be able to get if you use it yourself. So, you know, instead of getting swerved by Odell like my opponent did, he would have been better suited just clicking off and letting Pat Tillman just destroy Odell, which, you know, I was hoping he wouldn't. As you guys saw, he also has Pat Tillman, like the 95 Tillman. So this is a battle of two people that have completed Mutt Master two months into the game. So that means some serious grinding has been done by both teams in this one. As Steve Young rolling and he's going to buy all the time in the world to eventually unearth a wide open Shannon Sharp. This guy was the playmaker god. Like, I don't know what in the world his offensive scheme is was supposed to be or if this is it because if this is it he's an offensive genius he just you know gets 10 seconds in the pocket and you know playmakers someone open as lamar jackson's gonna run into step on gilmore get a decent game for us but we're not really too interested in you know playing offense out here i'm trying to play defense we're wearing cardinals jersey so you know what's all what it's all about as you guys know pat tillman in his brief nfl career did play with the Arizona Cardinals. So, second down and 10, down goes Lamar Jackson. With a seven point lead, we are not really, you know, pushing the gas pedal by any means. Like, when it comes to defensive gameplays, as you guys saw when we did the Calvin Johnson video a couple of days ago, this is the same Calvin Johnson, by the way. You guys saw him in the top three. So, we still have free safety Calvin Johnson. I love that card so much. This might be the first one of the Mutt 10 players that I don't sell. Like, every single player I've loved, but I've sold. I don't know. Just the Calvin Johnson doesn't even go for that much, so I might just keep him, to be honest, like the full version is, once again, the playmaker got right back at it, so yeah, like I was kind of saying is that, you know, we don't exactly, I don't go crazy on offense, I just kind of play it, run some plays for Odell, and we let our playmakers on the defensive end show up on the field, and you see Pat Tillman, he is now two out of five on the counter for his X-Factor, I actually didn't explain 
how to get Pat Tillman in the zone. I was explaining all what Selfless does, but I didn't tell you how to get it. So, Pat Tillman needs to get five hit sticks. It doesn't have to be like monster hit sticks like we got on Dalvin Cook earlier. It just has to be a nice tackle in the open field, just like that. Well, I guess any open field tackle by Pat Tillman is a major hit stick. So, it's not just like, you know what? It's if you make a normal tackle, the counter does not go up. That's not a tackle. That's not an interception. So that's not going to do anything for the X Factor. But it's going to do a lot to try to help the team win the game. Tillman is swagging and scoring on the Philadelphia Eagles. Chucky is happy with that one. And in true Pat Tillman fashion, we're going to do a team celebration. From here on out, whenever we get a defensive touchdown with Pat Tillman, always going to be team celebrations. That's just the way... That's the only way to play with Pat Tillman, I feel like. So... Um, like I said, that does nothing for the X Factor. Getting an interception doesn't automatically put Tillman in the zone like it would for some X Factor abilities. You just have to get these five hit sticks. It's not easy to do in a game, but I'm not going to say it's hard to do in a game either because Tillman is so dominant and he can make so many one-on-one -on -one open field tackles against even the best players in this game like you saw him make on Dalvin Cook when he just KO'd him. You know, as my opponent quits right there, you can get P Pat Tillman in the zone if you play a full four quarter game. Unfortunately for us, the problem with that game was it wasn't a full four quarter game. We were, I believe, three out of five on the counter when my opponent decided to quit after throwing the interception to free safety Calvin Johnson as Odell Beckham Jr. He's going, he's gonna get all the way to what the 45 yard line right there. We're in Lions jerseys for this one. Reason being, as we're gonna skip a couple of offensive plays until we find Tory Holt for the touchdown is because this game was recorded when I was trying to get Calvin Johnson gameplay when I was trying to do the video for the free safety Calvin Johnson it just so happened that in this game that Pat Tillman was making some plays for us so I decided instead of putting that in the Calvin video we'll save it for the Tillman video I told you guys when I did the Calvin video, we're gonna do a Pat Tillman gameplay and here it is and here's one of the games we were saving up second down and six we send the blitz and it does not get home at all and that'll be caught by Holt and as I said, this was when I was trying to record Calvin Johnson gameplay. So I was a bit disappointed when Megatron did not come up with that interception. I'm happy that Pat Tillman made that open field tackle. You see, once again, you know, no one in this planet has been able to bring down Marcus Allen or Bo Jackson or any of these top running backs one-on-one. -on -one, but Pat Tillman does the job and does the job consistently. Cohen spelling Allen and not doing anything. Second down! Oh my! A touch pass from my opponent saved a for sure Pick six for Megatron. Unbelievable. This guy actually had the heads up to throw a touch pass in that situation. Like, what? No one does that in those screens. Oh, man. I thought that was it for sure. Instead, he actually gets a touchdown on third down. So, it doesn't help Pat Tillman. It doesn't help Calvin. It doesn't help me. That'll help me finding Tory Holt. And, you know, I'm just trying to get a touchdown as soon as possible. So, Odell can turn this little sweep into a touchdown. Awesome. And you know what? He's going to do it. Odell Beckham Jr. Pardon the... Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that my phone vibrating there. I usually put my phone on Do Not Disturb so like you guys don't hear it vibrating or I get a text. Sometimes though, that'll happen. So Odell gets the touchdown there. That sweep works far too often. Like I run that play not because I love it. It's because it works a, a weird amount of times. So you know, here comes Pat Tillman. Like look at this guy. He is unbelievable one-on-one. -on -one. Like not only does he make the tackle, he makes you regret even going close to him. And that's really what he brings to the table. And that's why if you manage to get your Pat Tillman fully upgraded to a 95 overall, you really want to make him one of your superstars. Flatten like a slice of bread is Marcus Allen after that monster shot. Tillman, four out of five. Is that going to be five out of five? Unfortunately not, because that will not count as a big hit. And that's a perfect example of not all tackles count as one for the X-Factor. Counter for Pat Tillman. Third down and nine swatted by Peterson. Fourth down and nine passing down for Lamar Jackson. And maybe it's a running down for Lamar Jackson. He's going to swerve Tillman and get the first down. But since we clicked off of Pat Tillman... That's going to count as not only a but that counts for the X Factor. Pat Tillman is in the zone. As you guys see, it says downs played zero out of one for Pat Tillman's X Factor counter. So now that Pat Tillman has played one down, Pat Tillman is out the zone. That's it. Pat Tillman is done. So I was like, okay. Pat Tillman's in the zone. He's out. Like, what the hell? Well, check out Lawrence Taylor and Calvin Johnson. They have their X Factors going. And right away, it makes a major impact. Jalen Ramsey with the interception. And you had to believe that had to be a part of Calvin Johnson and Lawrence Taylor both having their X Factors. 
By the way, Pat Tillman did not put Odell Beckham Jr. in the zone. This just happened to be something that was going on as well. Pat Tillman doesn't work both sides of the ball. But Odell does have the max security X-Factor ability on. The only reason why I had max security on Odell is because I run my offense through Odell catching bubbles and sweeps and all that. That, you know, just by running those plays, those all count as passes. That, you know, sometimes I manage to get Odell in the zone by doing that. Unfortunately, you know, possession catching and me, like, doing that... It does not quite work on that play. So that's going to be intercepted. Not the worst thing in the world because we keep it a one possession game and we put the pressure on Lamar Jackson and the 49ers. Here comes Tillman. Oh, smart decision. I mean, he had to get out of bounds to stop the clock, but Pat Tillman probably has something to do with it. That's going to be incomplete. Lawrence Taylor's still in the zone. Calvin Johnson's still in the zone. And it's full X-Factor counters. Like, you need 10 yards to get Taylor out the zone. You need 30 yards to get Calvin out the zone because Taylor has unstoppable force. Not anymore. And Calvin Johnson still has zone hawk going for him taylor now that he's out of the zone makes a big play like when lawrence taylor had unstoppable force he did nothing but now that he's normal lawrence taylor he, i mean i guess lawrence nor normal, normal lawrence taylor all right screw that anyways calvin johnson worse in the incompletion how about that right forget that last sentence let's just focus on megatron because He's doing big things out here. Third, down and 16. That's going to be incomplete. Peterson keeping that ball away from Torrey Hole. Down by seven on the final play. Going to go for it. Why not of the first half? And Calvin Johnson forcing the incompletion. Calvin Johnson, zone hawk, has really been bothering my opponent. And you have to remember, all of this is because of Pat Tillman. And that is why this Pat Tillman X-Factor ability is so deadly and is one you want to equip. Like, yeah, you can put zone hawk on him or you know reinforcement but this selfless ability is not only a unique ability and not only absolutely useless for pat tillman himself but in true pat tillman fashion it helps everybody around him fourth down and two lamar jackson middle of the field megatron pops in loose calvin johnson continues to blow up every receiver in sight as he continues to have zone hawk activated this has been going on for over a quarter now as Lamar Jackson on third down and goal. Check out this stupendous play. Jackson buying time and finding Clinton Portis for the touchdown. Lions up 21 to 7. And John Ross on the return, only getting to the 20, not even the 20, the 18 yard line. And check out Tillman, 3 out of 5. Calvin Johnson is still in the zone and he might get a refresh from Tillman. Off the edge is Pat Tillman. And he's now one away from getting his X Factor activated for the second time in this game so if you're keeping count that means Tillman has made at least nine tackles in this game and that alone is very impressive from the safety position with how hard it is to bring down some of these elusive players in Madden 20 in the open field fourth down and 18 can Tillman make another play can Calvin make another play how about Lawrence Taylor off the edge and if it wasn't Taylor applying the quick pressure it looked like Tillman might have had that interception so the other uh, superstar ability that we have on Pat Tillman. For some reason, I only had two on Tillman. Actually, I know exactly why I had two abilities on Tillman and not three in this video, but the other ability one with Enforcer is Lurker, which allows you to get some crazy user picks. Kind of like the Madden 19 Ball Hawk. So you saw Tillman skying up for that ball and, you know, would have had a spectacular interception if uh, it wasn't an inaccurate pass. So the reason why I didn't have a third ability on him is because I had this ability called Tackle Supreme on him. And I realized when I had Tackle Supreme on Pat Tillman, he wasn't getting the big hits that I expected him to get. And when I took off that tackle Supreme, I realized that, you know, he was getting open field tackles every single time, but he wasn't getting those game changing, scary big hits that makes you, you know, think about going the other way when Tillman's in the area. So, you know, that's that. Third down 22. Somehow my opponent gets that pass off of Lawrence Taylor all over him. Aaron Rodgers with the uh, errant pass to say the least. That'll be incomplete. Could have been a lot worse. That'll bring out the punting unit on fourth down and 22. Tillman... I don't even, uh, that play I believe did not even count for his X Factor, the first tackle he made since it wasn't like a, I'm not even sure it counted as his tackle, let alone a big hit. So, we are going to readjust our chair right there. Gotta get comfy, man. This is a 22 minute video at least, right? I gotta get myself comfy here as we get into the third and final game of this video as we continue to play with this 95 overall Mutt Master Pat Tillman. So, as you can tell, like, I, I absolutely love this card. This is one of my favorite cards 
in this game not only this year but like maybe look at it ever in month right so we have calvin johnson and pat tillman and i think i might just keep them as our starting safeties for the time being and not only that maybe keep both of them with x factor abilities because it's just so much fun having those guys like lurking the field you guys know how much i love using my safeties in the game so to have this pat tillman just knocking people out and six five calvin johnson back there like that's that to me is fun, right? It's hard to make Madden 20 fun when people run the ball every single play. But Tillman is a true counter for that running meta. Like guys like Bo Jackson can run over everybody in the game, but a Pat Tillman with this enforcer. So, you know, I'm okay with letting Bo Jackson catch a pass in the flats because he's going to have to meet Pat Tillman in the open field. Second down and 10. There's Zach Ertz. Down goes Ertz. And the ball is out. And Tillman's got it. It's a hat trick. And on top of that, Tillman outruns Rodgers. And he's in for six. That was all made possible by Pat Tillman. I do not know what this celebration is. I, what, what the hell are they doing? But wow that i think that one play kind of just sums up everything i've said for the last 15 minutes right like that play is a one play endorsement for how good pat tillman is the 95 overall and truly the 95 overall pat tillman because you know the 92 and all that stuff i'm not even sure you can get enforcer on him or you might be able to but you just you want to have enforcer on pat tillman right? let's just put it like that and with this full you know mutt mastered out pat tillman you got lurker on him as well so we can not only force big hits we can get nasty user picks with him so he truly is the full package i was a bit skeptical to be honest of this pat tillman card i love the troll look at that there's enforcer in action tillman's skying up for that ball sometimes in this game you won't get the animations when you're you know a little bit off of the receiver but with pat tillman you're gonna get that animation pretty much every single time second down and 10 and Lamar Jackson looking for Zach Ertz middle of the field, but that's not going to Ertz. That's going to Brian Dawkins. That's intercepted. So with a 10-0 lead, we will bring Pat Tillman and the defense back on the field. So yeah, Pat Tillman really is the jack of all trades. I think we've established that. And you know, at 95, like I said, I or I, you know, I know what I was about to say that Pat Tillman, I was a bit skeptical on how good of a card this would be because like I said, I thought it was a great choice. I just wasn't sure, you know, judging by his stats and all that, how good he would be, but you can tell how much of an impact he's had on the game. Like, literally every single running play. You got to watch where number 40 is. Passing the ball as well. Tillman doing the job. Here, second down and 10. Dangerous pass in the area of Calvin. I kind of messed up that play. I clicked on Calvin for a second and accidentally uh, moved him out of position to where he probably would have gotten the pick if I didn't do that. So, it would have been nice to let Calvin Johnson get the pick. I'm pretty sure I accidentally just skipped a third down play. We're just going to score a touchdown with Odell. So, we can bring the defense back in the field on the very next play. How about that it's the same damn play every single time like i know you guys are watching this video like how in the world is this guy scoring on this play so often like it's such a silly play like why is this our most productive play in the playbook i don't know all right like i don't got the answers to that one it just works people i said in the last video people do not know how to align their defenses when a man is in motion no one knows how to escape Pat Tillman. I'm not sure there is an answer on how to escape Mutt master Pat Tillman. Zach Ertz definitely has no idea. Zach Ertz definitely has a concussion. Like, Zach Ertz, I don't know how he's on the field right now from some of the beatings he's taken from Tillman. Pat Tillman, one, tack one big hit tackle away, must I say, from getting selfless activated as Rogers rolling and looking. You know, he doesn't want to go to Tillman, but does he have anybody open here? Well, he has himself for maybe a yard right there no he actually lost a yard in the play rogers third down and six getting up the getting out of bounds there to tyreek hill and with about 30 seconds left in the first half he's trying to push the ball downfield to the point where he's gonna risk it all and get intercepted by ryan shays here which i don't really care about i'm trying to get these plays with tillman where like, i don't i don't care if he passes the ball like, i need him to run into pat tillman big hits he is one big hit away from getting in the zone and we get ball to start in the second half, and I've never not wanted the ball to start the second half up 17-0 more than in this game. Like, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, and I don't mean this in a cocky way, but I mean this in a realistic way. I feel like even if we throw this interception on third down and seven, we could probably beat my opponent, right? Even if we don't beat him, I feel like, you know, we'll do a decent job of, you know, not forcing him to rage quit, but at least getting Pat Tillman in the zone, right? Because that's, that's really what I'm out here to do. Like, I'm not... I'm not trying to win a Madden championship out here. I'm trying to have fun in some Madden videos and put on a show and have some fun with you guys, right? So, you know, that's what I mean when I say that I don't care to have the ball up 17-0 in a game like this. Like, I don't, 
I never consider myself to be a great player, right? Like, I'll, I'll lose my fair share of games and stuff like that, but thankfully we do manage to win the majority of our games even when we have a side objective like today. But our side objective is really a primary objective when you're playing with Pat Tillman, getting those five hit sticks. And like I said, it happens a lot more often than you'd think. Like, getting five hit stick tackles just doesn't sound easy until you realize Enforcer is really, like, a big play in Madden 20. Like, it's a big X-Factor ability. It's... As game-changing as these top pass rushers like Lawrence Taylor and all that stuff. Third down and three out the backfield is Barkley, but Barkley is blasted by Tillman. That'll put Pat Tillman in the zone. Pat Tillman, Pat Tillman only needs one play to be out of the zone. So after this play, Pat Tillman will not have his X-Factor ability. But you know who will have his X-Factor ability? Lawrence Taylor. You know who will not have his X-Factor ability? Calvin Johnson. And I was so confused. I was like, why does Calvin Johnson not have his X-Factor? And why is Lawrence Taylor nowhere close to Aaron Rodgers? Like, unstoppable force? Yeah? You call this unstoppable force? To the point where Rodgers actually gets into the end zone? So, the reason why Calvin Johnson wasn't in the zone, if you read the uh, lawyer fine print of Selfless, it's players, teammates on the field get their X-Factor. And Calvin wasn't on the field when Pat Tillman got his X-Factor activated. He was tired since that drive was going on for so long. So my opponent ran hard up right there. And because of that, Lawrence Taylor, he gets his X-Factor because he was on the field. Calvin does not get it. So uh, yeah, that's how that works. So if you're four out of five with Pat Tillman, you might want to make sure that uh, your other X-Factor defensive teammates are on the field at the time. So um, I... <laughs> I didn't really think that was a learning point, but it is. Like, I didn't think that, like, I wasn't even thinking of that as a possibility, but I had to watch this video back when I was editing it to try to figure out what happened, and that's exactly what happened. So, Pat Tillman, he's not going. Lawrence Taylor, still going. Calvin Johnson, not going. Our chances of winning uh, slightly decreased since we've kept it a two-possession game by going for the two-point conversion and not getting it. Tyreek Hill, not going to get downfield far enough from Patrick Peterson, surprisingly, considering Peterson only has, what, 83 speed there. That was on Lawrence Taylor, forcing the pressure. Forcing the pressure pass right there. Because it looked like Bo Jackson was open. He probably would have eaten a big hit from Pat Tillman. But we would never find out because of Pat Tillman. For putting Lawrence Taylor in the zone. And letting us get that stop. Not sure why my opponent punted the ball in this situation. Like you're down 16 points. There's no more punting the ball. But he did. And I don't know why this was the rage quit point for my opponent. But it was. He eventually ends up quitting the game after pondering for a while. Maybe checking the stats or the depth chart or something. So that'll do it for this video. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed this 95 overall Mutt Master Pat Tillman gameplay. This was a lot of fun to do because, you know, Pat Tillman's a fun card to play with. And that enforcer ability really is game changing. So, yeah, subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays. And I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.